Welcome back, everybody. If you are just tuning in, we have talked about March Madness, uh, both today's and tomorrow's games. Uh, we just finished talking about Shohei Otani and the scandal he is caught up in with his uh, former, with his now former translator, uh, and what might come back to him. Uh, real quick, before we get into our next segment, uh, updates on March Madness. Two games are going on right now. Oregon is up 62-48 to with 10 minutes to go in that game. It is still halftime between Nevada and Dayton. Nevada leads 34-25. to uh, those, are the, those are the two games that are going on. The next game starts at 6.50 between Colorado State and Texas. Um, but like I was saying, we, in this segment we are going to transition out of baseball, out of March Madness. We are going to talk about football. The pre-Jeff process is underway. Uh, we are continuing to cover it. Uh, pro days, Caleb Williams pro day happened yesterday. Uh, we're going to talk about the big stories coming out of that, uh, as well as if pro days really even matter for some of these these big prospects. Um, but before we do, remember that if you would like to be an even bigger part of the show than you already are, all you need to do is go to gsmcpodcast.net. Leave a tip or donation. We appreciate anything that you do give. Uh, if you leave a message, it'll pop up on the bottom of the screen. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have a little discussion about what you have to say. Uh, again, that link is gsmcpodcast.net. We appreciate anything you give. Uh, but let's get into our final segment. Pro days. Pro days are private workouts for single schools, and they're important for these smaller prospects that don't get to go and that aren't invited to the combine. But... There has been a trend nowadays of more and more players, big players, projected first-round picks, projected top five, top ten picks, not participating in the combine uh, for injuries. And that's completely understandable. Pro days are generally where they show out. You get a more personalized experience as opposed to having one weekend to talk to 300 kids. Uh, you get a more personalized experience with scouts that are there for you, specifically you uh, and a group of you know, 10, 15, 20 people instead of 300. So you get a more personalized experience, and it's a positive thing. Pro days are great. Whatever I'm about to say is not to disparage pro days. Pro days are a great idea. They're very important. We love pro days. What I am going to say is there has been players that don't participate in pro days. Caleb Williams just did his pro day. Uh, it went very well. You know, he, at the end, tossed up like a 70-yard pass. Uh, but it wasn't for him. He's going number one overall. That's been locked in for almost an entire season. Uh, he's going to the Bears. Keenan Allen was there. Uh, he, he knows he's going to the Bears. Keenan Allen knows he's going to the Bears. They had a little discussion. He said, Keenan Allen, you're getting 115 catches for 1,300 yards and 12 touchdowns. If that's the case, pick him up in fantasy. <laughs> Uh, but Caleb Williams showed out his pro day. We all knew he would. Pro days aren't serious. You know, he's throwing the ball in shorts. We know what he's done on tape. It's not for him. Pro days, when you're a big athlete like that, are for your teammates. Because, like I said, it's just your team, your friends. Uh, Brendan Rice, son of Jerry Rice, is a player there at USC, and he his stock definitely rose during that pro day. He had a very, very good pro day, you know. You go with a quarterback that you know, that you're comfortable with, you, and that takes some time. You know, that's why sometimes receivers at the Combine or quarterbacks at the Combine struggle a little bit because they're playing with players that they've never played with before. They don't know how fast they are. They don't know how they run their route specifically. Everyone runs it a little bit different. And you want to be your best, so you want to be comfortable with the guy that's throwing you the ball. <laughs> it's the same reason why players get to pick their uh, pitcher in the home run derby, you know? Um, but pro days are very important, and Marvin Harrison Jr. decided not to do the pro day. It took a lot of eyes away from Ohio State, and that's a criticism that I've heard from a lot of people about, hey, Marvin Harrison, you are, you're going to go top five. You're going four at the absolute latest. You don't need to do this, but, but what about your teammates? Don't you want them to get drafted? Don't you want them to raise their stock? Eyes are only a good thing, you know? Uh... That's a criticism, a criticism I've heard of Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr., who hasn't, has kind of flown under the radar for not doing a lot of things, much like Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams 
did not participate in a lot of stuff at the Combine. He didn't do uh, medical. He didn't do uh, interviews. Neither did Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. did a lot of the same things that Caleb Williams did, but he wasn't getting that same criticism. Uh, and I know it's a little bit different because he's a wide receiver. Caleb Williams is a quarterback. Caleb Williams is going number one overall. Uh, Marvin Harrison is going in the top five. Uh, and it's just because of their position. There's probably some other stuff outside of that. I know a lot of people didn't like that Caleb Williams painted his nails or got dressed up for that photo shoot. And that might have a little bit to do with it as well. That doesn't matter for football. That shouldn't. That shouldn't change your judgment, I think, at least, if you're judging them for their football player abilities. Uh, but it happens, you know, on and off the field, people get judged for different things. So we take a look at these different pro days and how they might affect teams, uh, players specifically. These star players, like I said, they're not going to get that affected by their pro day, but it is their teammates. You know, these smaller colleges, pro days are a big deal. Uh I know James Madison had their pro day a couple days ago. Uh, You know, they had a couple scouts out. These guys aren't going super high. You might get a Jalen Green who led the nation in stacks for a while, uh, only playing like six, only playing like eight games. He did uh, have a massive injury. I expect him to get drafted in the later rounds. He's very good. Um, But, you know, there's some other guys there that had their pro days, got a chance to work out in front of scouts, might go undrafted. Um, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that pro days can do. Really just get your name in there, do some networking, you know, uh, this is not always for the draft. It might be for after the draft, give these guys a shot. So pro days are a good thing. I want that to be the takeaway from this segment. We love pro days. Pro days are great. Um, but if you're a star, you should still participate. And I think it's a bad look for Marvin Harrison Jr. that he didn't because, I know it, it shows that he's not really thinking about his teammates as much. And I know that's just a kind of thing that that follows wide receivers, that they, they're they divas. They I don't think he's a diva. I just think he wasn't thinking about his teammates. He was just like, I don't need to do this. I don't want to. Um, and that's fine. Do your own thing. He's going to be really successful. He's probably the most likely player in this entire draft to be a Hall of Famer, Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, he's a very special talent. He's probably the best player on this big board, but on my big board, he's probably number one prospect. Caleb Williams, number two. So there's a lot of things with this. Uh, Draft is coming up. I'm going to do a post-free agency mock draft probably tomorrow, if not on Monday. Um, So keep an eye out for that. We'll go over all that in just a little bit. Um, March Madness over the weekend. We'll talk about all that tomorrow. Uh, Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in to today's episode of Sports by GSMC Podcast Network. I've been your host, Jeremy Lapidus. Uh, Watch March Madness. Come back tomorrow. We'll break it all down, as well as second-round matchups uh, for over the weekend. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Mm Bye-bye. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, when the coffee ain't hit, yeah, damn, ain't that great.